welcome back to the vlog it's a so with me so i am making the true bias marlow sweater i have my lovely fabric it looks awful on camera but it's like a really soft blue fluffy a little bit like it's got a kind of a, a nap i think they call it um and a rib as well and it's got some dog hairs on it which means that it's been about since Hobbs um Hobbs's day before he went to live with my sister which if you don't know that that's a bittersweet tale but um Hobbs doesn't live with us anymore but he's very 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 happy and getting way more exercise than we ever gave him and yeah he's a very very happy dog and so is my sister and her boyfriend because they adore him so yeah Hobbs isn't here but anyway, his hairs are on here, so this means that it's been um, lingering in my stash for quite a while. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to finally making something with it. So I'm going to get this all cut out, um, and I'm going to just check in with you a little bit. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I just thought I'd let you know that I am doing size 6. Um, I'm cutting out, I'm cutting out on the fold. This fabric is like crazy narrow, which I wasn't expecting, but luckily I can fit these, uh, the front and back on them, but the sleeve, which is really quite wide, and please excuse the mess, um, I'm going to have to do single pieces, but I think I've got enough. I didn't, sometimes I like properly get everything really set out, and <laughs> clear the best this time i didn't do that but i am watching inventing anna which i fully recommend it's really really good um and i will catch up with you in a bit okay so i'm just uh sewing the first bit so everything's cut out obviously um and oh i did have to i did run out of fabric which is such a typical me thing so in the middle of um one of the pieces of the neckband i've got two pieces there and I really hope you won't be able to notice them. And I've just shown you them. But anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. Just draping them on myself. Drapesing, draping, drapesing. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'll put the two neckbands together now. Two neckband pieces um, on the short edge. And I thought I would kind of film a bit of the actual sewing. Especially as I look really red and hot. It's pretty hot, actually. I'm going to turn the heating off. Yeah, that is too hot um so yes i will show you the sewing now okay so the neckband is sewn um i never pin anymore i've noticed that i just kind of hardly ever use pins i just always feed through the seams i wonder if you do the same um let me know i'm sure if it's a really difficult like a sleeve head or like a curve or whatever then i would pin but yeah i just don't i don't really pin straight edges anymore or you know flat seams basically right so that bit's done okay so let's do the bodice i've got the back bodice here so right sides together, I'm going to find the um, shoulders and attach the front. Make sure that's the right bit. Yeah, is that the armhole? I've got some notches here somewhere as well, so I'll find them. <laughs> Double check. <laughs> so right sides together. Okay, so I've got uh, two fronts and a back joined. Yay! <laughs> okay, hello. Hello here. Um, so now I'm going to pin. So I am going to do some pinning. Um, the sleeves to the armholes, so right sides together. Nothing you can do that can't be done Nothing you can sing that can't be sung Okay, so all the um, sleeve seams are 
well all both the sleeve seams are pinned so I will sew them up nothing you can say but you can learn how to play the game it's easy Nothing you can make that can't be made No one you can save Okay, so I'm just sewing um, the underarms and side seams now Can't be saved Nothing you can do But you can learn how to be you in time It's easy have gone oh it was going over that bump oh that's so annoying right i've got to refread the overlocker okay i've refreaded let's hope this works <laughs> uh, la, 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 da, da, da. where was i oh yeah going over the bump <laughs> when i was younger we used to always say fast over the bumps to my dad when he drove past certain places so maybe i should say that to help me <laughs> no i should probably go slowly for the bumps okay all you need is love all you need all right so uh one side done let's do the other one it is love all you need is Okay, we have something that resembles a cardigan. So two sleeves, a front and a back. And I feel like it's about to get interesting. So I better find out what's coming up next. Um, and I'll catch up with you. Okay, the next bit is the waistband. So uh, folding wrong sides together along the long edge pin to the bottom of the cardigan. I will do that. I'm so hooked on watching Inventing Anna. So I'm going to carry on watching that and put this into fast forward. <laughs> Love is all you need. A waistband um, I decided to put the waistband on a different grain can you see that there you go so hmm, not really the waistband um, has got the rib going along like vertically and the, the rest of it's horizontally which I kind of wanted to do but I'm also realizing that the stretch is not as much but that's all right. I've got it across, so <laughs> I kind of didn't think I was going to get it across. I was pulling on it really hard, but I did. So that's all good. So now it's just neckband and rainbow cuffs. Um, I'm not going to get a chance to put the buttons on. I know that already. It's like nearly 11. Um, and I really did want to just do a nice quick sew with me. So I'm just going to get the neckband on and then I'll do the buttons and everything later. Okay, let's do a quick try on first. Always love the little try on stages in the middle of sewing. Uh, cool. Can you see that all right? Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so snuggly. I've wanted to wear this fabric for so many years. <laughs> I always like just stroke it. So it's really exciting to be on my body finally. Um, right. Okay. So the neckband, I've worked it out. Well, I've looked at the instructions. I haven't worked it out. I've looked at what to do. In fact, I'm following a tutorial that I'll tell you about. Sewing therapy. Um, Marlow sweater from True Bias. Sew along with sewing therapy. It's really, really lovely. It's not at all what I'm doing, which is just chatting and showing you stuff. It's like proper flat lay 
beautiful tutorial so if you actually really want to know how to make this um i would fully recommend that and i think also true bias to the sew along so there's loads of cool stuff you can look at anyway um so the next thing i need to do is add the interfacing i've got this little bit i need to cut out the interfacing add it to the neck band um and then fold it in half sew along the short ends and then kind of encase the whole thing in it so yeah that'll be fun now my only thing is i'm just wondering what do we think i mean it'll be too late because i'll just do it no it's not quite right i think it's going to be brilliant for the cuffs and i'm really looking forward to that being the cuffs just a little dash of rainbow i've decided to stick with the blue because part of the reason why i'm making this um is because i keep making tops that just have too many too much going on and uh, and then it's harder to get them to match things whereas if i am wearing you know this will go with everything really won't it i mean it's a navy cardigan so it'll be so so wearable and if i add a colored strip not to the cuffs don't worry i'm still doing the cuffs but if i add a colored strip to the whole neck band there's a much fewer amount of things i can wear with it so yes right okay on with the blue love is all you need love is all you need all you need is love okay so i'm just sewing up the two short ends of the neck band And this is right sides together. All you need is love. Love is all. Right, I'll give these a good press um, and then start putting the neck band on. Okay, kids, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I'm a real idiot. <laughs> I got this late sewing i haven't done this in a long time <laughs> but you know when i say i'm going to do a weekly vlog i stick to it so you'll be watching this tomorrow because hopefully i would have found some time to edit it but i finished yay so i'll now um uh hopefully do some video tomorrow in daylight that'd be good and maybe i can patch up some things that i'm seeing are a bit of a problem <laughs> where things don't really meet but this is what happens when you stay up all night sewing gabby you make mistakes so i will fix them tomorrow and um yeah see you then hey so here it is my finished marlo um i know it's gonna sound like i'm just saying this but i honestly actually have chosen not to put on uh the buttons because i kind of want to wear it as a jacket it's such a cute little jacket look i love it it's a bit wet because it's raining outside and i literally ran through the rain um to try and get a little bit of footage for the end of my vlog um love 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 the cuffs i'm so happy i went with them and i'm really happy actually that i went with the band as well in blue because it's just so wearable i can wear this with anything and it's just a really cute little cozy cardigan i'm really really happy with it um so i did have a few problems but i think sewing at like midnight last night maybe wasn't the best idea my head wasn't quite in the right zone um so yeah i i kind of made a few mistakes but apart from that it was a very very quick sew and if i did it not as a midnight excursion i probably would have done the whole thing in about two hours so i think it took three hours in the end didn't it oh by the way i've cricked my neck <laughs> it's less painful than it was this morning but it was really painful this morning so i kind of turn like this so that's why i might look a bit odd um but yeah that's all i have to say i've got to go and pick up b from nursery so i've got to be really quick anyway um but i hope you enjoyed a different vlog from me a so with me and i will see you next week lots and lots of love to everyone take care bye uh, love is all you need